Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, 20 after 12, so it's just afternoon. It's Lynn the Leather Bag Lady here. How are you? It's uh, Tuesday. A uh, crappy day. It's not raining, but it's very, very um, damp and kind of yucky. We've had a lot of rain in the last three days. Leather Bag Lady weather report. So hopefully... I say hopefully, but I think we've kind of seen the last of the uh, summer weather. I was just reading on my phone this morning how confident so many people are that we are going to get snow by the end of this month. And I'm not sure I'm ready. I don't mind the winter. I don't mind the snow. I love my sweaters. I love my boots and but I'm not sure I'm ready for it at the end of October. This hair is getting in my eyes and I'm gonna clip it. Looks ridiculous, but oh, it doesn't look too ridiculous. There we go, Ha! Ah, I can see you. Uh, so Tuesday today, it's uh, it's been kind of a shitty day for me. I've had a couple of shitty days, uh, really weepy and just, I don't know, what the hell, it's, all part of the journey, I guess. Menopause and stressing about money and stressing about jobs. And I feel like I'm a little too old to be stressing about stuff like that. But I guess it's life. Anyway, let's get to the bags. I've got a really nice bag for you today. I have another little history piece. And I do have a bag that um, is an example of that little piece of uh, purse history. And that's about it for today. So first bag is this beauty a lot going on here so let's kind of break it down the bag is you can hear it's like a vinyl and uh leather so the strap is leather all these bits are leather all the way around the bottom now the brand is beverly haven't been able to find too much out about the brand there are some examples of other vintage uh, Beverly bags online, but not a lot of information. Now, the hardware is, I mean, the bag is beautiful. All the grommets are marked Beverly. Um, the zipper pulls are marked Beverly. The hardware here is marked Beverly. Even the magnet is marked Beverly. You don't see that very often. Here's the Beverly sign inside. There is a zipper pocket and there are two slip pockets, one of which is for glasses. I'm almost 100% sure it's for glasses. It's too long and too narrow to even have fit uh, one of the old phones that were, you know, a lot smaller. Usually when I get a bag that has a 90s phone pouch in it, it's narrow, but it's very short. And this one's quite lengthy. I've put these glasses in it and it fits perfectly. So I'm going to suggest it's for glasses and not a phone. I've dated the bag as a 90s bag um, just because of the gold hardware and this kind of monogrammed uh, vinyl was quite prevalent in the 90s. Um, the Beverly is here and then these S shapes are all Beverly. So it's kind of neat. There's a lot going on. The strap is a great length. I think it's a 24 inch strap drop. So it is, bring you down a little bit. It is going to make a great uh, cross body right on your hip or shoulder. I did put an extra uh, hole in it because I can. And that's about it. Like I said, all the hardware is made in Italy. So I'm kind of gravitating towards the fact that the bag is probably Italy as well. Um, nice pocket goes right to about here. So you're going to get a phone in there beautifully. Now it does have a little bit of an extra feature. So you can have the bag like this, no problem. It's um, got a little bit of a gusset on the bottom. There aren't compartments in it, but they've kind of done it this way and you can see a little snap here so if you want to use the bag as a drawstring you can and the snap comes down on either side and snaps into place so it's quite unique in that regard 
It looks like a little bit of a bottle or it goes into a bit of a bottle neck. I wouldn't wear it this way just because it's probably a little bit cumbersome to get into, but everybody's different. It's got a nice side panel which runs right along with that gusset so it opens up really nice and wide. So it's a beautiful bag. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Very unique. Yep, the other side made in Italy as well. So it's uh, it's different, that's for sure. I love the two-tone. A couple of years ago, uh, the two-tone was very, very popular. I sell a lot of Derek Alexander bags, which is a fantastic Canadian brand out of Calgary, Alberta. The leather quality is superb. And um, yeah, I've got a couple down here on the floor, but they, they're not the to two tone. He is, uh, his brand is very, very um, typical to provide a, a two tone bag. And they're very understated, but just that little bit of dual color gives it a bit of fashion presence that just elevates it a little bit. I mean, the leather quality is amazing. Um, this it's a great little bag lots of stuff going on here so this has been listed today and obviously i'm now doing the video so there we go now i'm still waiting for that customer to get back to me the yellow patent bag that i showed you yesterday that had some marks on it from uh, my storage i don't know what to do so i think i'm just gonna give the guy a refund and then if he wants to reconnect with me and renegotiate we can do that. Uh, I don't mind selling it at a lesser cost, but it's going to somewhere in the States and it has a little thing underneath the address saying that UPS can't, um, can't find the address. So usually what that means is it's some obscure place and it's probably going to cost me a fortune to ship it. So it might just be easier for me to give the gentleman a refund. I hate doing that, obviously, because I'm in the business to sell bags. But I don't want to disappoint anybody anyway. But I certainly wouldn't want to receive something that doesn't look the way it looked in the video. So, And as I said yesterday, it's kind of given me a little bit of a wake-up call. Not that my storage method is incorrect. I have too many bags and I'm putting them too tightly together. And when um, the summer hits this little house of mine, it can get quite warm and the moisture, the condon, uh, what not, not the humidity. That's the word I'm looking for. The humidity um, has created a, a color transfer situation. So uh, like I said, wake up call for me. It, it It's an ongoing issue for me. Um, Etsy is a great platform and I love it, but you do have to list daily in order to be current in the algorithm. And just because I list daily doesn't mean I sell daily. So, you know, one ba hundred bags turned into 200 bags, turned into 300 bags. I mean, at one point last year, I had 400 bags. Now, I don't have 400 bags listed right now. And that's only because I'm restricting my listings to one a day. Um, most days because not that I think we're going to get shut down again but I'm just having to watch my pennies right now and um, and storage I cannot bring myself to pay for a storage facility they're so expensive it's just I I, I have this thing that I say that the 20th century I think the biggest not rip off, but the biggest surprise of the 20th century was paying for water. Water comes out of your tap and yet we are all paying for bottled water or, uh, you know, water dispensers or to me, it just seems a little odd. The 21st century, it's storage. If you want to get into business, <laughs> buy a storage facility because Houses are getting smaller because land is getting less and people are downsizing because firstly, it's all they can afford. And secondly, nobody wants to mow lawns anymore. Nobody wants to shovel driveways anymore. 
but we still have all this stuff that we don't want to get rid of. So where do we go? Storage unit. So, but what that's making it is very expensive. Um, I've recently looked at a 10 by 10, um, which is really what I would need to make it worth doing. It's over $200 a month. I just can't bring myself to pay that. I just can't. It's just like throwing money up in the air. So I don't know. Anyway, so that was a very long story as to why I still have this little yellow patent bag. But anyway, it is what it is. So uh, having a shitty day, like I said, uh, menopause is real, ladies. I know you feel me. Uh, been a weepy freak for the last two days. Went to my mechanic this morning to drop my car off to find that he has retired. I've been with this man for 11 years. I have two cars and I've spent a lot of money with them and I've spent a lot of time with them. I would have expected at least a call. And I cried my whole way home. I walked home. It's about a 45 minute walk. And I bawled my eyes out. And uh, same last night watching stupid TV show. There's an actor in there that looks like my son. Every time I looked at him, I don't see my son that much these days. Bawled my eyes out. Like what the heck is going on? menopause is real it's real anyway before i have a hot flash because i can feel one coming on uh the bag that i showed you today was listed quickly i'll do the history piece uh 1972 today now these little snippets of history are just little windows into what was trending now, that certainly wasn't a word that was being used in 1972, I don't feel, but it is a very usable word now. So in 1972, according to this 2018 article in Cosmopolitan magazine, large rectangular briefcase-like bags were being used more so than before as purses. Now, when I give you these little history facts, if I have an example of it, I will share it with you. And today, I have an example of it. Oh, crap, I put it away. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. A very briefcase looking rectangular bag that is being used as a purse. Perfect example. Now I've listed this as an 80s bag. It is on my in my Etsy shop right now. But now that I think about it, it's probably more 70s. And that velvet interior is just a telltale sign of that. I think I got a little swayed by the gold tone. Very 80s, the gold tone. But Either way, it's very vintage and it's still very much available. There is a little bit of dye run back here from um, when the leather was dyed. But other than that, it's a beautiful bag. So there you go. That's our little history piece for today. I've uh, given you the leather bag lady weather report. Um, I think we're just about done. So... The bag today, the Beverly bag, is already up on Etsy and listed. And you guys have a great day. And I hope I feel a little better. Probably won't be in touch with you tomorrow. Uh, or maybe tomorrow afternoon I'll, I'll be back um, in the house. I'm going away tonight. So anyway, take care, everybody. Bye.